What are you at, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lycles, and this is my 2023 No Man's Sky Beginner Base Building Guide. I absolutely love base building in No Man's Sky. This is one of my favorite bases that I've built so far. It's on top of a trading post, and this is one of my most highly recommended places to build a base. You can take advantage of all the things that the trading posts have to offer, such as pilots flying in that you can sell resources to, and of course there's ships coming and going all the time, so you might find one that you really like. It's one of my favorite places to build, highly recommended. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unlock base building blueprints. You're going to be able to unlock a few of these during the tutorial, but where you're going to get the bulk of your base building blueprints is on the anomaly. You're going to need salvage data and a lot of it in order to get all of the base building blueprints. Of course the game teaches you how to get this salvage data. You just need to dig up buried technology and you'll get two to four salvage data every time you do this. But of course it does take a very long time to get the hundreds of salvage data that you're going to need in order to get all of the blueprints. Now I have done this so many times that it's become a little bit monotonous for me. For me, digging up salvage data has always been a bit of a boring chore that I've never really enjoyed. For a long time I've wished that they would make the blueprints cost units or maybe nanites instead because getting salvage data is a real pain. In the difficulty settings you can make purchases free so there's always that option if you don't want to farm the salvage data. Now let's get into the actual base building tips themselves. Now probably the easiest way to make a cool looking base very quickly is to use prefabs. Now this base that I have here on top of the trading post is composed of mostly prefabs. I really like the prefabs. They can make some very cool bases and they do have a very space outpost kind of feel to them. Now of course you can also go with the other base building where you can build individual floors, walls. If you've played Ark before or a game similar, this type of building is very close to those games. Also a type of building that I really enjoy, but it does take a little bit more work and a little more thought. My base that I have here, as I said, is composed mostly of prefabs, except right in the back I've built a little storage area out of the alloy building parts. And it's also where I keep my Minotaur mech. Now when it comes to the building parts themselves, there's a lot of different things you can do. Like you can change the color. You can also change it to have more of a concrete clean look to it. Or a rusted worn look. Or even more of a wood material. There is a few different looks that you can play around with. You can also toggle the camera so that you can freely move around your base. And this really comes in handy when you're base building. And don't worry, as you're putting together all the parts of your base, you can move them around freely whenever you want. So feel free, try new things, and if they don't work out, you can always just delete them or switch them around. And there's also the free placement option. So you don't have to actually snap your floors onto a surface. You can go into this free placement mode and you can place it wherever you want. You can even have a floating platform if you want. I've seen some really amazing floating bases. If you played much of No Man's Sky at all and built your base, you know that you need to power your base in order for a lot of things to function. Powering your base is pretty straightforward, but I recommend using the solar panel and the batteries. But you can also go to the difficulty settings and just turn that setting off. And then you don't have to worry about supplying power to your base. Fun fact, this is actually the way it was when base building first came out in No Man's Sky. Another thing you can do is set crafting to free as well. Which will allow you to build as big a base as you want without having to use any resources. 
The difficulty settings are actually amazing for building. You can turn the difficulty settings to creative and then freely build whatever you want without any regard to having to get resources or worrying about hazards on planets. But if you're playing on normal and you need to get a ton of resources for building your base, a good way to do this is actually just fly around in your ship. And if you have a good upgraded ship weapon, especially a weapon like the Positron Injector, you can just fly around and you can just shoot down onto the trees and the rocks on the surface of the planet. This way you will get a ton of resources that you can use for base building. Now, speaking of really cool places to build a base, let's talk about your settlement. Now, a settlement is something that you're going to unlock through the story of No Man's Sky. You might not be there yet if you're a brand new player, but just keep on playing through the story and you will get there fairly early on in the game. And if you try to build your base in the settlement itself, you'll notice that you won't be able to put down your base computer. But if you go just outside of the settlement, you can put down your base computer and then that will give you more than enough room to go right into the settlement and build in your settlement. I've seen some people make amazing cities out of their settlements. It is one of the coolest locations to build a base. If you're a new player, you might find it really cool that you can actually get freighters in the game and you can build a base on your freighter. You can build massive bases in your freighter. If you're new to No Man's Sky and you're really into base building, don't miss out on building a base on your freighter. Now that's it from my beginner's guide for base building. Let me know down in the comments if you have any tips for base building of your own. And if you are a new player to No Man's Sky, I hope this video helped you out. Appreciate you all watching. I have a lot more new player guides on my channel and I'll link a couple of them at the end of this video. Hit that like button if that's what you're into and as always, stay where you're at and I'll come where you're to. Later everyone.